I know calling cats misunderstood is a huge meme, but I really do genuinely think of Jay Feather as misunderstood. He has such a complicated way of expressing his emotions that we don't really see with warrior cats that manifests itself in his double-layered personality. He has this thick outer shell that's very easily annoyed or offended, afraid to show weakness. But then he has this soft side that's extremely sensitive and insecure that he tries to hide because he wrongly feels ashamed. Okay, so what I want to talk about is the Jayfeather we know during The Broken Code. And more specifically, the scene that everyone missed. I mean, not literally everyone, but a lot of people, you know, it's just a title, okay? So, starting with Dawn of the Clans and extending into A Vision of Shadows, Warrior Cats has had a number of bonus scenes included at the end of their books, some of which were exclusive to Barnes & Noble in the US. And in the Broken Code story arc, there has been only one, so far, in Lost Stars. As a Barnes & Noble exclusive, a lot of people just don't know it exists. Which is a real shame, because Jay Feather is such an irritable, snappy jerk in this book. And with this scene, his behavior makes a lot more sense. It's a whole 20 pages, including two chapters and an epilogue. So I thought I'd make this video just to relay what this scene tells us about Jay Feather. He's my favorite cat, and this is such a powerful moment for him. The focus of this short story is describing how Leafpool's death impacted Jay Feather. And through these brief 20 pages showing Jay Feather's reaction to feeling strong emotions, the whole grumpy persona that Jay Feather has taken on between A Vision of Shadows and The Broken Code suddenly makes a lot more sense. Though Jay Feather mostly shows tough love, he still does form deep bonds with a few select cats. Mainly his family, and especially Leafpool, Lionblaze, Alderheart, and Briarlight. In River of Fire, we do see some of his soft side with his deep connection with Briarlight and also Alderheart. But thanks to this bonus scene, we see the Leaf Pool and Alderheart connections on full display. Jay Feather is supremely sensitive. During Leaf Pool's vigil at the end of Squirrel Flight's Hope, he seems very angry, as if he can't properly process the reality before him. He doesn't even want to speak at first, and when he does, he doesn't display any sadness. It's as if his connection with Leaf Pool was so personal that he can't share it. Only with this bonus scene can we finally understand Jay Feather's grieving process. We see how truly broken he is at this time. He admits to himself that despite the times when he found Leafpool irritating, the den feels empty without her. He's mixing up herbs because he can't concentrate. He doesn't go to the Moonpool meeting because he's afraid to confront the fact that she's in Star Clan, and he can't even bring himself to take Leafpool's old nest, leaving it completely open without use. When Alderheart confronts this unhealthy behavior, he makes excuse after excuse. Leafpool organized the storage poorly. He was too busy for that one meeting. Moving from his nest is too much work. And he rejects the obvious pain he's in from losing his mother, saying he's fine. Jayfeather calls Alderheart soft when he wants to talk about feelings and thinks Alderheart is too sensitive. But ironically, Jayfeather is being more sensitive than Alderheart through his constant snapping and refusal to return to his normal way of life. I feel like the Broken Code books are great in terms of drama and conflict, but we really do lack these impactful character growth moments. And that's why this bonus scene stands out so much. We get to see a cat battling not with territory disputes or evil ghost cats, but with feelings. So then we move on to chapter 2 of this bonus scene. Alderheart tells Jayfeather to come to the moon pool quick because there's an injured cat there. But when they get there, all the medicine cats are there, and Alderheart reveals the injured cat is Jayfeather. I love this for two reasons. One, it's adorable seeing Alderheart make such a huge gesture because he's worried about his mentor. And two, I like that grief is recognized as an injury. Mental health is often touched on in Warriors but they rarely equate it to physical illness or injury, like they do here. It makes me want to see Alderheart become ThunderClan's therapist. He has such a calming presence in this scene. Jayfeather, in Jayfeather fashion, thinks it is infuriatingly calm. One thing really intriguing here is the embarrassment that Jayfeather feels to be called out as sensitive in front of other medicine cats. 
I feel that as a blind medicine cat who failed warrior training, he feels super insecure about his strength and being as masculine as his brother Lion Blaze or just Thunder Clan cats in general. Alda Hurt is a really good cat for him to have in his life because he's more open about his emotions and shows that doing so doesn't show weakness and is ultimately constructive. So Alda Hurt challenges Jayfeather to confront the Moonpool, and Jayfeather finally softens up for a moment and shows his emotion, admitting to Alda Hurt that he's scared, even though it's hard for him. And when he does meet Leafpool and Star Clan, he tells her, You left me twice. He is able to express his proper sadness rather than make a sarcastic remark. And because he broke down his outer shell, Leafpool is able to reach back and help him understand. In the epilogue for this scene, we see Jayfeather more at peace now that his emotions are no longer bottled up. The conflicts surrounding Leafpool's herb organizing and taking over her nest have settled as he can come to terms with the fact that he can move on. And Alder Hurt has shown him that his past sadness was not weakness at all. Squirrel Flight comments that things are the way they should be when she sees Jayfeather in Leafpool's former nest. And Jayfeather keeps his agreement to himself, showing that while he is more at peace with his emotions, he's still not taking a complete 180 with his character. The story really helps explain Jayfeather's intense bitterness in Lost Stars. As with Star Clan's disappearance, he lost the connection with Leafpool he found strength in towards the story's end. And it also explains his personality in general. He desperately wants cats to see him as confident and intelligent, so he can feel competent as a medicine cat. But deep down, he has a very sensitive personality, and he has outbursts of anger to defend his masculinity when his weakness is exposed. And only over time can he learn the importance of displaying honesty with his emotions. I do think there's more to be explored with this conflict, so I imagine that we might get a Jayfeather Super Edition a few years out from now. But yeah, overall, a super interesting character.